Hello everyone. I Shurujit welcome you all on Econometrics Day channel. आज हम लोग सीखने वाले हैं क्लास सेवन का मैथमेटिक्स तो बिना वक्त गवाए शुरू करते हैं आज का क्लास नाउ टूडे क्लास सेवन स्टूडेंट वी विल अगेन कंटिन्यू विथ चैप्टर वन इंटीजर्स and we are going to continue with the same exercise exercise 1.4 in our previous class we studied or we solved till question number 4 and today we are going to solve question number 5 and today's part is part 30 so let's start let's see what they have asked us in the question evaluate the following using distributive property so we have to evaluate means we have to find the value okay of this one but we have to use what we have to use the distributive property okay we cannot find uh, by our own okay any method we cannot use we have to use the distributive property now what is this distributive property already i have told you okay now how to do it first sum is this one minus 876 into 9 plus then minus 876 now if you see carefully that here what is same this one is same and this one is same okay so we will take common okay minus 876 so we will take common so now when we take common suppose this one goes okay then what is left here 9 then plus sign is there plus again this one goes then what is left 1 understanding also so when we took minus 876 common so here what is left 9 here nothing left means 1 is left okay so now minus 876 and 9 plus 1 is what 10 and when you multiply Minus 876 into 10. You can give here into also. Okay. If I rub this one and write into, and then 9 plus 1 is what? 10. You can give into sign also. Okay. And then the answer will be 876, and then one zero will come. So 8760. So minus 8760, and this is the answer. Clear. now we are going to solve question number 5b so what it is telling minus 2315 into 98 plus again minus 2315 into 2 so here also you see which one is common this one and here this one same thing so we will take common okay 2315 so now 2315 goes out okay you can put here one multiplication sign so what is left 98 and then plus and then here what is left here it is 2 left so 2 and now here minus 2 3 1 into 98 plus 2 100 and when you multiply minus 2 3 1 5 0 0 this is the answer now what is the distributive property already i have taught you now x into y plus z equal to so this will multiply with this xy plus and this will multiply with this xz clear so this form is there this is this form okay and we will make it to this form i think sum number 5b is clear okay now we will solve question number 5c So you can see minus six seven eight into forty nine plus minus six seven eight. Now this sum is looking like how how the distributive property. This part it is looking like this part. See x into y. So this is acting as x. This is y. Okay. Then x into z. This is acting as x. And here z is not there. Means here one is there. Nothing means one is there. So this is acting as If we say this is acting as x and this is acting as y, 
and this one is acting as again x and this one is z. So one you can write you if you don't write also no problem. Okay. Now how to solve this one? So we will take the x common. Okay. Minus 6, 7, 8. Then what is left here? 49. And here what is left? Plus C plus. Okay. Because minus 6, 7, 8 you have taken common. So 49 left, then plus plus, then this one you have taken common. So what is left? 1 is left. And now minus 6, 7, 8 into then 49 plus 1, 50. Now you have to multiply. So minus is there. So minus we will write. Now 6, 7, 8, 6, 7, 8 into if I do 5, 5, 8 is a 44, 5, 7 is 35, 39. 3, 5, 6, 30, 33. So, 3, 3, 9, 0. And this 50 has 1, 0. So, that 0 also we have to write. Answer. And this is the answer. I think now you are understanding huh, how to evaluate by using the distributive property. Now, students, if you really like my channel, if you are new in my channel, then I would like to request you all to please give a like, share this video with your friends and classmates and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Because when you subscribe, it really motivates me to make more such interesting videos for you all. And don't forget to press the all notification bell so that whenever I upload such videos, you will get the notifications first. Now we will move on to the next sum. Now we are going to solve question number 5D. So see minus 576 into 8 plus 576 into minus 92. Okay. Now you see if you take this one as X and this one Y and this one X and Z. Now you see X is minus 576 but here X is plus 576. So, x is not matching. So, to make it in this style xy plus xz, we will, what we are going to do? We will write this same sentence or statement again, okay, into 8. Now, see here, if I make this one minus 576, so this is wrong, but if this plus sign, if I change it into minus, so see minus minus when it opens, it becomes what positive clear then into minus 92. So now it is looking now it is looking looking like how like the distributive property, but this is distributive property over addition. But this one is now looking like distributive property over subtraction. So how it will be x into y minus z. So this will be what x y minus x z. Clear no? This thing you can write like this also. Some of you may be thinking uh, y said you can write this one x into y minus x into z. Clear? So like this also because you have learned like this way into putting okay and I told you before also if you don't write into sign that means x y only okay that means x into y x y means x into y. So now I can take common which one I will take common this one okay. So if I take common minus 576 see here from here if you want to go here see x taken common this one taken common okay. So I have taken common. Now what is left? 8 is left. Then minus sign is here. And then what it is left? Minus 92. Okay. And then I can give like this way bracket. Clear? See? This one gone. 8 left. Then minus sign minus. Then this one gone. What is left? Minus 92. Now minus 576 into. You can write into also. So into now here what you can write 8 if you open the bracket plus 92. Now minus 576 into 8 plus 92 100. 
so minus 5 7 6 0 0 because for multiplying with 100 it is very easy 1 into this one will be same thing and then followed by two zeros so i think question number 5 d all of you have understood nicely agar video acha lage to like share or subscribe karna mat bhuliyega theek hai to now we will move on to the next sum now question number 5 e so how we will do see again it is looking like x y x z so x is what 1100 but here x is looking how minus 1100 okay so here we have to change it little bit so that it will be similar to the distributive property so what we will do 1100 into minus 102 now if i open the bracket then this becomes what plus 1100 one, zero, zero, double 0 into 2 okay now it is looking like the distributive property over addition okay so now you can take this one and this one common 1100 then into then what is left minus 102 plus 2 okay and then you will close it okay and now 1100 into if you open the bracket okay so minus 102 plus 2 now 1100 into now minus plus different sign so we will subtract so 102 and 2 subtracting means 100 but the sign will be minus 100 okay so now if you multiply minus is the sign then 1100 and 100 has two more zeros so here it comes so 1 lakh 10000 okay so this is the answer i think you have understood the sum nicely okay now question number 5f okay so 5f minus 891 into 93 minus then minus 891 into 3 so this one x and this is y this is x this is y so now x is acting see same same okay so we have to not do anything okay directly we can take common which one the x portion we can take common so what we will do minus 891 okay now into now what is left 93 is left here and here minus here what is left 3 is left so now minus 891 into 93 minus 3 how much 90 clear so now we will multiply this one you can do directly also and if you want to do rough that also you can do 891 into no need of writing 90 you can write 9 only so 9 ones are 9 9 nines are 81 8 carry 9 eights are 72 plus 8 80 okay but the sign here it is minus here plus so minus and plus means minus so a zero one nine but this one is 90 90 has a zero so you have to put here one zero and this is the answer clear now the last question of exercise 1.4 state the property of integers represented by the following statements question number six so here some statements are given and you have to say this is which property this is which property because you have learned the properties that's why i was teaching you the concept okay once the concept is clear i told you na, all the sums will be easy so let us see this one what will be the answer so 3 plus 2 plus 4 so here also you can see 3 plus 2 plus 4 so the numbers the integers are same okay or the numbers are same but grouping is different okay so here different group here different group so this is what associative okay associative property okay of addition of integers got it now number b 
टू वन जीरो इन टू जीरो इक्वल टू जीरो सो जीरो इज दियर सो दिस इज द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ जीरो सो वट वील राइट प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ जीरो ओके नाउ नंबर सी सी यू कैन सी वन इज देयर वन ओनली आई टोल्ड यू आइडेंटिटी ओके सो दिस इज वॉट मल्टीप्लीकेशन इज देयर सो मल्टीप्लीकेटिव आइडेंटिटी क्लियर नाउ यू सी क्वेश्चन नंबर डी ओके एट्टी वन इंटू फिफ्टी माइनस फिफ्टीन सो एट्टी वन इज मल्टीप्लाइंग विथ फिफ्टी अगेन एट्टी वन इज मल्टीप्लाइंग विथ फिफ्टीन एंड हेयर माइनस इज देयर सो जस्ट नाउ प्रीवियस सम यू डिड ओके द डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव प्रॉपर्टी ओवर वॉट ओवर सब्ट्रैक्शन सो दिस इज ओनली दैट वॉन्ट सो डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ मल्टीप्लीकेशन डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ इंटीजर्स ओवर सब्ट्रैक्शन सो यू हैव टू राइट द वर्ड ओवर सब्ट्रैक्शन नाउ यू सी हेयर थ्री ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस एट हंड्रेड प्लस टू सेवेंटी फाइव इक्वल टू एट हंड्रेड प्लस सिक्स हंड्रेड नाउ एट हंड्रेड मैचिंग बट हेयर सिक्स हंड्रेड इज नॉट मैचिंग बट इफ यू सी केयरफुली नाइसली थ्री ट्वेंटी फाइव और टू सेवेंटी फाइव इफ यू एड थ्री ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड टू सेवेंटी फाइव इफ यू एड थ्री हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड फाइव हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव और सेवेंटी फाइव हंड्रेड सो सिक्स हंड्रेड दैट मीन्स दिस टू आर मेड इन टू ग्रुप ओके सो द ग्रुपिंग इज ऑनली चेंज सो दिस इज ऑल्सो एसोसिएटिव सो वी कैन राइट एसोसिएटिव एसोसिएटिव प्रॉपर्टी ओके सो दिस इज ऑल्सो द एसोसिएटिव प्रॉपर्टी प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ वॉट ऑफ एडिशन ऑफ इंटीजर्स क्लियर नाउ द लास्ट वन नंबर ई वन नाइंटी फाइव टेन माइनस सिक्स सो माइनस साइन इज हेयर सी वन नाइंटी फाइव इंटू टेन and then minus 195 into 6 so same thing distributive property of multiplication of integers over subtraction that means this only so what we will write here distributive property of multiplication of integers over subtraction okay so all the sums from exercise 1.4 is finished okay so now it's your duty to practice again and again so that in the exam if it comes you can do it correctly as well as quickly okay agar video acha lage to like share or subscribe karna mat bhuliyega और कुछ भी डाउट हो तो मुझे कमेंट करो मैं सबको आंसर करने का कोशिश करूंगा मिलते हैं और एक अच्छे नए कंटेंट के साथ तब तक के लिए बाय बाय